And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Welcome to our daily Timothy Tower. My name is Carl. Um, today is uh, January the 13th, 2021. This is the fifth series in the Our Daily Timothy Time uh, uh, programs that we're putting out. Folks, we've been uh, reading through the book of Daniel. We, so far, we've got to chapter 2. Each week we read through, we're reading through Daniel with the view of the, the, the weekly lesson. We, we're looking out for that lesson. So the reading is just to get the, get the scripture in our frame of reference for when we do cover this ground, when we unpack these verses, as they say. Anyway, let's do some reading uh, uh, in, in, sec, in chapter 2 of Daniel, and we'll, we'll carry on down. And uh, there are some comments I want to make. In verse 44, it says, In the days of these kings. Who are these kings? Well... We're going to study that out when we get there. Um, also, too, if you read verse 44 and take it literally, that puts an end to what is known as our millennialism. What's our millennialism? Well, if you've got some time today, get a dictionary out, have a look it up, uh, go to DuckDuckGo, have a look at that beautiful word. <laughs> it's one of those expensive words that you uh, that you got to you got to understand. But verse 44 puts that one to bed. So let's carry on reading. Verse 45, For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass thereafter. And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. Now there you go, folks. You've got the Word of God telling you that the dream is certain and that the interpretation thereof is sure. You see, the natural man, the unsaved man, hates prophecy because the prophecy, it, 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 tells, it tells what's going to happen. And the natural man doesn't like that. Anyway, again, we're going to cover that ground. Verse 46. Then, then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors unto him. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is, that your God is a God of gods, and Lord of kings, and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldest reveal the secret. Then the king made Daniel a great man, and gave him many great gifts, and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon, and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then Daniel requested of, the, requested of the king that he set Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel sat at the gate of the king. So that's the end of chapter 2. Uh, we're going to now look at, uh, we'll start off chapter 3. Now chapter 3, this is about, um, chapter 3, oh, this is, this is about the furnace, the fiery furnace. Uh, we, we all know about that, uh, but yeah, let's carry on reading here. Uh, chapter 3, verse 1. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubits, and the breadth thereof six cubits. He sat it up in the plain of Jura, in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent to gather together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces, to come to the dedication of the image with which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, and captains, and judges, and treasurers, and the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then and herald cried aloud to you it is commanded o people nations and languages that at what time ye hear the sound of the the, the cornet the flute the harp the sackbut the pulsary the dulcimer and all kinds of music ye fall down and worship the golden image that nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up folks that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of ground we've covered today. I see the time's up. It's uh, once again it's been fantastic to be with you, and I really really look forward to covering this uh, this ground when we study through here. 
Anyway, wherever you are in the world today, have a great day and thanks for tuning in. And we'll catch up again, same place tomorrow. Take care, Maranatha. Mm -hmm.